that's uh, this is me, Zenobi Rosifatsky, ready for uh, season two of War Fortress. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't really an end to the last fortress. I kind of lost the save to that, so now we're starting over from scratch. Um, don't know if I've implemented this yet, but I do finally have editing software, so maybe I'll be putting something on the screen. What we're doing right now is we're making a tavern right here, a depot right here, and two storage areas right here. Now let's take a look at our dwarves here. So we got Rekod Kodovid, the miner, Golden Ogenzizir, woodworker, Kog Isinod, expedition leader, also most of our noble positions, um, Lord Nazo Medad, stoneworker, he's known for mining, Ingus Broker, uh, he's also the jeweler, and we got two fishing guys who we will delegate to other tasks once they're available. Um, but for now we're just digging out this area. So yeah, so we got the bench for that. Alright, so all I've uh, gone and done here is um, made a stockpile for uh, wood. I've designated a lot of wood to be cut down. Um, but on this map here, uh, we don't exactly have that many trees. Really, it's only cactuses, which, in fact, uh, cactuses do have wood on them. Though it's only on the inside, it's like a skeletal system, really. So, yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna get that wood, and then we're gonna make a couple of uh, workshops and whatnot. Uh, they've almost finished digging out this whole area. I want this area to be the workshop space, though, and this area to be the, uh, the stock uh, space and other stuff. But, uh, yeah. Okay, then, well, I've uh, finally uh, dug out this area over here. Um, so Let's get to work on placing some workshops in there. Uh, let's see here. B. Let's see here. Workshops. Uh, let's see here. We're stopping in Carpenter's Workshop. Let's see, then Masons. I like to have a loom around. Sorry, I had a sneeze there. Um, Alright, uh, we need the F now. Smith's Forge. Oh, uh, Craft Wars Workshop should go over there, kind of near the entrance. Uh, what else? Um, Jewelers Workshop. Warriors Workshop. works. We should make a fishery outside. There we go. I've also placed down a bunch of Dan Tanner's workshop out there. And there's also a still in here. And yeah, that should be all the workshops we need for now. Alrighty then, now it's uh, it's put a stockpile in this tavern here and then I'll actually put some chairs and stuff like that. Um, actually I might remove that again because I seem to have placed it wrong. I think anyway. Yeah. Okay that should cover the whole back there. After that I guess we could build some farms over here but that's not quite necessary yet. What I do need to do is... What's it called? Zones. Yeah. There we go. Like that. I think that's a meeting area. There we go. First dwarves should now congregate there. Uh, seems like we managed to build up this area. This. Or actually, what I'll do is I'll just, just make a little side entrance right there. This will be our manager's office. 
reality, really, we could just put that anywhere. Uh, we'll have to make some uh, minecart uh, stockpiles over there, or lots of storage stockpiles, I guess. I guess. Okay, so I've uh, added a manager's office right here. Also set up some goblins to be made. Um, I some table orders are finished yet. Yeah, of they are. Okay, we do have the table orders, so we can start placing those down here. So after that, we can start thinking about um, probably doing the stockpiles would be the best bet here. How many chairs do we have right now? We have five. Okay, perfect. Those masons are quite fast at what they do. Alright, let's see here. So, it did take me a second to remember how to do a QSP, but uh, I want to look at what kind of stockpiles we're looking at. Uh, QSP, yeah. So, furniture, stone, gem. Yeah, okay, that's not going to do anything. Start setting up for that. Uh, right over here by uh, making the stockpiles. So, yeah, I'll get that done. Okay, so I've set up all the uh, stockpiles here. Now I just need to set up vehicles, aka my cards, which one was just made right there. Or I think that's a real wheel, actually. Alright, that should be good for now. And then what else we're gonna have to do is go to here and get some beds. Construct bed 20. Door from uh, rocks 20. Cabinet from rock 20. Go. Um, also, think about expanding this area out here it's for like churches and guild halls. A lot of residence halls on this side, and a lot of churches and stuff on this side. Although this is pretty uh, small area to do it. Anyways, should be good for now. Okay, so we got these guys from the uh, mountain home, and we're gonna. Uh, I'm just put putting a priority on the random thing so that they can uh, feel good about that. And interesting. Oh. Okay, so some a lot for rings, some for plants, some for cloths, goblets, which we have been making tools with those. And this is usually not too interesting. Alright, now let's skip see what these guys have. Um, our trader requested depot. Should have some gems. Um, probably gonna be the stone. Is it? I have tetrahedrite. Oh, wait, wait, what was it up? Oh, nothing. Okay, so there's nothing in there. stuff over there. Okay, that should be, uh, should be good. So, let's see here. All that for something. One, two, four, for you guys. Uh, 
not the best load. No, 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 no. I'll take the barrel. You guys have buckets. Um, I need to refill those, yes. You have one adequately priced bucket. Alright, let's just trade that. Must be missing something. I'm trying to do T for trade, but I'll take maybe the shield will do it. No, no, what the heck? Okay, I figured that out. It's because I was in the trade menu or like in the uh, search menu. I can do that, and I got myself a couple buckets there. Nice. Okay, so this is like the third time I've had to record this, but um, got a little bit of a migrant wave. We got a elf nest and stuff, uh, like a hunter and a peasant, a fishery and stone workers. You know, good stuff, good stuff. Also, finished out buildings here. We now have 20 rooms and 23 dwarves. Of course, you can subtract the children and anyone who's married because those guys all live together. Um, also, continuing up the hospital up here, got up another table. There we go. Okay, that should be good for that. And oh, a position. Well, I wonder what he's gonna get. Alright, seems like he's claimed a leather works. So, yeah, let's see. I don't think we have much leather. Oh, no. We do have leather. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, we got one piece of leather there. The last piece of leather, and he needs more leather. Okay, well. Um, what's your dead animal? Man. And then go to pit slash livestock. And actually we should, we should go to animals. Yeah, here we are. Okay. So what the slaughter? Um, where was that? Yeah, cow. B slaughter. There we go. We should be able to get a hide from that. Thank you for your sacrifice, Yakau. Your tan will be very much appreciated for uh, this possessed guy. At least that's what I think he wants. Yeah, just leather. Okay, um, we have a tanner coming down here. Okay, Hunter, you will become our new tanner. Uh, hunting, trapping, okay, rock sing, farming, there we go. And you can also do butchery, I guess. Uh, let's get that guy over here. Okay, um, we are done tanning that hide, so you can see that for this guy going straight for it. Wow, he's fast so fast there we go he's beginning his construction I have no idea what he's gonna make Moses English Gimish Lezavaka has created in Shalabat Gimish Starus a sheer ostrich leather saddle she claims it as an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor Plastot Klaus Bamazes Klaus Bamazes uh, whatever. Anyways, we got ourselves a sandal now, so hey, 
At least it's something for us to walk on. Uh, there is that. But you know what? I think now we'll be time to end this episode. So thank you guys all for watching. And in the next one, maybe we'll get some actual production going on. Who knows? Maybe even the military. But you know what? Until then, see you guys all later. And bye.